lost my imagination. The Imagination Station getting ready for its holidays with its new Frostology exhibit. And here to tell us all about it and show us some science is Chief Scientist Carl Nelson. Good morning once again to you. Good morning. You. Yeah, thanks for having you us. You know, we love it when you come in studio because you have the coolest experiments and you always shock us. And this is literally cool. Like you said, as part of cool. Frostology, we are going to use some liquid nitrogen mm -hmm. to make ice cream in like two minutes. That's that's great, right. and it smells really good. I, I smell the vanilla and the sugar, and I see you have eggnog. And how, how much in, more in the season could you get? Absolutely, and we're doing this every weekend at the Science Center down in Toledo. So that's come great. down and check it out. What, what age group is best? You know, it's good for all ages, okay. adults and kids. Okay. And there's really stuff for everybody, so it's really pretty cool, especially some of these things like this, like the liquid nitrogen ice cream. Now, I do have a question for you, though. You mentioned the eggnog. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of eggnog, or should you know, we just I'm, do? I'm, no, I'm good with it. Okay really easy way to make ice cream. And so I'm gonna need your help. Go ahead, put your glasses on here. Mm. Like I said, we're gonna use liquid nitrogen. And liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees below zero. And let me show you why we're not gonna put our fingers in the liquid nitrogen, all right? If we take this rubber hose and stick it down in there just mm -hmm. for a few seconds, yeah. and then pull it out, it keeps its shape. Oh my. And if I pulled hard enough, I could probably break the hose. But I can warm it up with my hands. Okay. And so it'll warm up quickly. So we're gonna avoid touching the nitrogen. Okay, that's a good idea. All right, so to make our ice cream, really simple. First ingredient, eggnog. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take that and pour it into our bowl. Okay, I can do that. Next ingredient is gonna be, and that's one cup of eggnog, two cups of heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Now this is not low fat ice cream by any stretch right, of the imagination. So we're good with that. <laughs> <laughs> and then a dash of sugar. Add a dash of dash. sugar in there. Good. And, and, and my, my dash is kind of like the All whole right. thing. Oh, that's, um, <laughs> okay. you know, that's my that's, dash too at home. That's a cup of sugar. Now, <laughs> go ahead and mix this up, Cam. Okay. This is the basic recipe that you're gonna use even if you wanna make this at home. Now, I know you don't have liquid nitrogen at home. <laughs> yes, but, I do. But no. you can do this with just a bag of ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a bag of ice, add some salt on top of the ice. That'll lower the freezing point of the ice. And then what we could do is we could take a little scoop of this mixture and put it in a baggie. I forgot one thing. Oh, the secret ingredient is a little vanilla. So Just we'll a little bit. Put a little bit in there. It smells so good. Go ahead and mix that up. Now, if you're at home, what you could do was take a little bit of this, throw it in a Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. seal up the bag, all right? Put it in the ice Ziploc bag, squish that around for like 10 minutes. You're gonna make ice cream. But we, we don't have 10 minutes here. No. We have a few minutes. So we'd rather use... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna add the nitrogen right into it. So I want you to keep mixing. Okay. It's gonna get very, very cold. Mwah. And we get that great fog effect as the nitrogen condenses moisture out of the air. But the other thing that's happening is... Oh, it's stiffening up. It's gonna stiffen up yeah. very quickly. The oh key, God. the key to really good ice cream is making tiny ice crystals, okay? If you've ever had that experience of ice cream that you've had in the freezer that you pull out and it gets kind of granular and all yeah. that, that's bad ice cream. You want to get the tiny ice crystals and that's what our nitrogen is doing. And you know what? I think you're at the stage you need the wrong. spoon. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Look at that. It has already started to solidify. That's so cool. So go ahead and use the spoon there. That might help a little bit better. <laughs> Wooden spoon. I don't plastic, know, maybe but I'm not. Break it. Okay. We the all other know thing, I'm not a good cook, so. Oh no, no. This is you can't mess this up. So check this out. Here. Grab your bowl there. I'm gonna have you taste okay. this. This is hopefully gonna be some of the best ice cream you've ever had. And the reason being, tiny ice crystals mm -hmm. and the nitrogen, which is always changing from a liquid to a gas, makes it sort of light and fluffy. So give that a taste. Mm. How is it? It's very good. And it's less than 100 calories per ounce. So if you don't eat the whole and container. And good for you, good and good for you. <laughs> and you know, um, I taste the eggnog and it tastes really yeah, different. And that's kind of something new that we're doing for the holidays is to make eggnog ice cream. And we do this with all different things. We'll put mango in this, we'll put pineapple, really good. all sorts of crazy things. Something that you can see if you come down to Toledo, Ohio, Imagination Station, we're open from Monday through Sunday. We're closed on Mondays, I'm sorry, Tuesday through Sunday. Oh, you want to try no, some? Jason just had Jason. a little bowl of... Um, just take it right off the scoop. He just had a little bowl of grape nuts. So how about some ice cream to go with your grape nuts? Wow, that's really good. It is. Isn't that nice? It's Again, I like how you said 100 tasty. calories per ounce. That's like anybody's right. just gonna eat one ounce of ice cream. That's like a thousand Look, it's, calories it's, in a bowl. It's all about portion control. So if you can control yourself, which we looks can. like you're finishing that off, so <laughs> it's that. pretty good. All right, so come down and check this out at the Science Center. Every weekend we're doing this through January. A lot of fun, a lot of cool science. A lot of cool science stuff. I mean, you guys do amazing stuff. Absolutely, mm -hmm. so check it out. Okay, one more time. It is on One Discovery Way, Toledo, Ohio. And Tuesday Weird. through Saturday, your normal hours. 10 to 5, mm -hmm. and Sundays are open noon to 5. Check out the website, Imagination Station Toledo, for our holiday hours. And we're doing a 
next hour we're going to do something, right? We're going to do something next hour with some antacids. So if you guys finish this <laughs> off right now, <laughs> we you would be the some. perfect people to talk about antacids. <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks so All much. Right. For Thanks for having us. us. Yeah.